high. This is size 12 light wire straight chunk hook and thread I'm using is red 80. You can use different color thread. Add some marks on your thread. I'm just gonna start below the eye about four to five millimeter touching turn and just to take this piece off and then all the way down the bend and just stop there. I'm going to be adding this uh, golden and green mix tinsel um, just to give a little tug. Just catch it, touch and turn, and just bring that. Just all the way okay. and then just catch it gently and secure this. That's fine. Come back towards the eye. And just checking if it's fine. Yep. Now, for the huckle, there's a two type of huckle I'm using. So the first one is just a golden olive grizzly hen huckle. Um, just uh, they're lengthy, but um, stands very nice. So I'm just gonna catch this. Just give it a come back and take this piece off. Now, as you see in my other videos, I'm just kind of use this method. If I'm not using any wire or over tinsel to catch the huckle, so I'm just going to use catch the huckle with the same thread. But first, put some wax on your thread. Now, the dubbing I'm using is olive dubbing. Now, this is came out of uh, the deer hair, the, the part you buy. As you can see, there's a quite a lot, of, you know, soft huckle, uh, soft dubbing here, you know, hair, and they're really good actually. You know, you can use them for a dubbing. So. Yeah, and they dub really nice. Uh, if you just kind of dub it towards, make sure it's going to uh, work with the shape of the. That's fine. You don't need too much. And then definitely some. Wax on your thread. Make sure you need you need leave enough tag there, and then you bring your huckle. Now here I'm going to give about two to three, or even four turn, and then go towards. And now with the same thread, I'm going to give. Three it up and then catch every single turn and then take this off. Now, as you can see, it looks nice. Okay, the second huckle I'm going to be using 
I'll just show you in a bit. Let me just right. work on this. And the second huckle. The second huckle I'm using is a golden pheasant body feather. This is a dyed red. And just take this tip out and then catch it gently, scale this. Come back and just take this extra piece off. And then again you need a huckle plier. <coughs> Pull these feathers, stroke them backward, and let's take your time with this. That's fine. Let's scale them. That's fine. Take this extra piece off again. Now I need uh, art some marks on your thread. That's fine. This is a great pattern for the lock fishing. Just gonna alter my hook. Now I'm gonna be adding for the modular head is uh, olive body hair, deer body hair, you know. So I'm going to take some off with the scissor. Just take these fiber out of them, you know, the dubbing uh, hair, so you can spin them easily, you know. That's fine, and then put them in a hot stucker. see take them out and then just like a use the length you want so hold them there all I'll do is just to take some off And then a couple of loose turn. And then spin them out. And then catch them slowly, slowly towards the eye. If you can't get to the eye, just give them a little push. And then take your time, you know, this is just a now here what you need a whip finish. So make sure Take your time with this. Okay, that's it. It's done. Now, if you need little curl scissors to take some of them from the front, just give them a round shape of the head, you know. And 
in fact it will be probably easier if you just hold it in your hand and do it you know So you have to do as uh, add a varnish on the head. Not too much though, just a little bit on the side. So make sure you use a very thin varnish on there. Okay. Little needle or feather to just check the eye. So there we have a sooty olive. Muddler. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.